we've always been asking who let the dogs out who 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 <laughs> welcome to KUTV Rise Today Biashara Tuesday that wasn't that was that wasn't out of hand of course all my dogs are watching the show so who let them out to watch the show but other than that I am joined on set by Omundi Gillian who is someone who is well versed in matters dog yeah Yes. Right, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you You're very all much. about your dogs. Yes, yes. I'm a very huge dog enthusiast. Mm -hmm. I'm also a dog trainer mm -hmm. and I also breed mm -hmm. uh, protection dogs. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's my field of uh, specialization. Right, maybe a little introduction to the people who are seeing here for the first time. What is your, what's your name, where do you, where do you work at and how exactly do you train dogs? Yes, my name is Muchama Umundi, mm -hmm. as you had said before. I'm a dog trainer and a dog breeder. Mm -hmm. My company is called Alpha 6 Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, we focus on dog training. Mm -hmm. uh, we specialize in the following field. We, we train sniffer dogs mm -hmm. for anti-narcotic purposes. We also train tracking dogs. Mm -hmm. These are dogs that are able to find people who are lost. Mm -hmm. We also train, which is our main focus, we also train... Uh, personal protection dogs. These mm. are bodyguards mm. that can protect you anywhere you go. Right. We also train home security. Mm -hmm. That is for the regular average client. Mm -hmm. And we also work with uh, some of the best mm -hmm. security companies in Kenya. Right. So my director tells me that we do have a video. Are we going to play it right now? Yes, let's play it. Let's see what exactly that looks like. Hello guys and welcome once again to this brand new channel. My name is Muchama Omundi. I'm an experienced dog trainer and an experienced dog breeder. Now this channel is going to be very useful to you either as a person who has dogs, a person who is thinking of having dogs or just a person who is passionate about knowing more about dogs. This, info, this channel is going to give you information on the proper and most affordable diet you can get for your dog, the best possible breed you can purchase for those who do not have dogs and the best possible form of training you can access at an affordable price now guys this channel is also meant to answer questions remember you can communicate with us through my email at muchama omundi at gmail or alpha 6146 at gmail guys wow that's who let the dogs out it's omundi <laughs> We, we figured it out. Yes, yes. And before I forget, we also mm. have uh, what is called studying services. Mm. This is whereby if you have a female and you desire the genetics that our dogs possess, mm -hmm. and uh, in a few minutes you're going to see the true potential of our dogs, how they can protect, exactly ah. how they work on command. Ah. We're going to have a demonstration here. Right, so so we're going anyone to have... who is viewing, let them stay tuned. Let them stay tuned. We're yes. going to have the dog live here on set. I can't yes. wait. My dogs, are <laughs> my dogs are showing up. Now... <laughs> Before, I have a lot of questions, yes. but let's begin with when you're training these dogs from a sniffer dog to anti-narcotics to maybe a personal protection. bodyguard type of dog, protection, yes. yeah? Yes. So is the training the same or is there like different classes that you have to take the different dogs through? The training is very, very different. Mm. It is very, very different. Even protection dogs that are uh, in sports are trained differently compared to protection dogs that are in field, mm -hmm. those that work. Nice. Uh, a good example is uh, if you see most videos on YouTube about uh, the police dogs in the United States, mm -hmm. you will see when it apprehends an assailant, it does not take the command to release. Mm -hmm. But our sports dog, if you, if you, you tell it to uh, arrest a, a decoy mm -hmm. and then bring him down you can tell the dog to release and it will release mm -hmm. but in the case of police dogs that does not happen why mm -hmm. because dogs work with anticipation right they anticipate the command mm. so if the dog makes the mistake of releasing an assailant in a police situation prematurely mm -hmm then that police officer will be in trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, mm -hmm. the person could have a knife, he could have a gun. So if you give him that window, you can end up dead. It's right. a very serious thing. Right, now, let me ask, um, if when you are training these dogs, is the language similar all across the world? Is the language that the dog in Kenya is being commanded or being trained with the same language that is happening abroad, as you mentioned? Uh, the languages is uh, pre uh, predominantly the preference to the client. Mm. Yes, if you want ah. me to train your dogs in French, I'll train your dogs in French. Mm -hmm. If you want your dogs to be trained in German, Swahili, English, mm. all that, mm. we do that. Mm. Yes. Right. Now, at what point did you decide that this is the business you want to get into? 
Um, I had a passion for dogs ever since uh, I was young, mm. way before I started even going to school. Right. That passion manifested in me very mm. early. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then now you eventually started your business how long ago? Uh, my business has been around for seven years. Mm. We work with uh, at hand uh, veterinary services. We, we have veterinary on call 24-7 for our dogs. Mm. We also have uh, three professional trainers who are always on call. Mm. Yes. Right. Now, these trainers have been trained to train dogs. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. So they are professionals top of the bunch. They are top of the bunch. How has business been for the seven years that you've been in operation? Uh, business has been good because uh, <clears throat> there's, a ve- there's a very big illusion in Kenya that people want cheap products. Mm. That's a lie. Mm. People want quality products. Mm. If I bring you a cheap thing, if I go out there and find a mongrel and I say I'm going to sell that mongrel to you for 50 shillings, are you going to take it? No, I want It's very cheap, but it's useless. Right. I can sell you a German Shepherd puppy for 100,000. Mm-hmm. And if it's worth the money, it's going to get the market. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Now, when you are saying that for the past seven years, um, it's business has been all right, people want quality. Yes. What are the types of dogs that mostly people go for when they come to you? Yes, the most popular type of dogs that people go for is the German Shepherd. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have people who go for the Rottweiler and mm-hmm. people who go for the South African Mastiff. Mm-hmm. Those are the three predominant security dogs in mm-hmm. Kenya. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right now, within people, people hear a lot of these names: the German Shepherd, a Chihuahua, a Mongrel, um, any other name. Mm-hmm. What is the difference between all these breeds? Is it where they come from, or? Um, how exactly are they differentiated like that? The most significant difference between this, uh, all these breeds is the skill set they bring to the table. Mm. Remember, a dog is judged according to his skill set. Mm. For example, a German Shepherd is uh, an, an international favorite because it has a lot of skills. Mm. A German Shepherd can do protection work, it can do therapy work, it can do detection and scent tracking, mm. and it can also do home guarding. Mm. Basically, it's one big package. Mm. Has it ever yes. gotten to a point where a dog just refused orders at some point? Like, ah, I'm done with this. this Normally, work. It, uh, it only occurs in institutions where they do not employ professionals. Mm-hmm. If you do not have professionals uh, on call, mm. then you are going to experience a lot of difficulties. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, because the dog, in as much as it's a tool, mm. it's also an animal, it has its needs. Mm-hmm. You must learn how to work hand in hand with a dog. Right. Every single security company that wants to have a canine department mm-hmm. get trainers who are good at what they do. Mm-hmm. Now, before yes. you set up your business, yes. do, you need, do you need like a minimum number of dogs? What are, what, what are the... What are the regulations looking like around uh, business of security, especially with dog breeding and dog training in uh, Kenya? Uh, uh, yes, uh, I would recommend a minimum of uh, of around five dogs. Mm. Five dogs would be a good number. Mm. And uh, among those five dogs, you should have at least one male. Mm. One male for studying services for right. the females. That's right. a good beginner number. Mm. But uh, when it comes to capital, mm-hmm. I would recommend anyone who is interested in the business to have at least 400 to 500,000. Mm-hmm. Because yes. these dogs are expensive. Yes, they're how very do they, expensive. How, do, how is the range looking like for in terms of the prices for the different dogs? Yes, it goes with quality. Mm-hmm. It goes with quality. We have dogs that are registered with the East African Kennel Club and you can get one puppy that ranges anywhere between 60 to 65,000 mm-hmm. for a puppy. And uh, for a uh, Rottweiler, you can even uh, get dogs that go up to 100. Mm. It depends. Majorly what determines the, the, the price of a dog is the type of genetics. Uh-huh. And that is where most clients go wrong. Mm. You cannot tell me that there is a dog that goes for 10,000 and a similar breed that goes for 60,000 and you get exactly the same thing. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Mm-hmm. Yes. So most clients, what they do is they try and look for the cheapest dog there's always a reason why something is cheap <laughs> yeah. there's always a reason right. and please remind me to give the top five uh, guidelines to mm-hmm. clients who may mm-hmm. be watching and mm-hmm. are interested in buying on mm-hmm. how they can go about this mm-hmm. without getting conned mm-hmm. right yes because as a trainer i have seen so many dogs mm-hmm. that clients have bought clients are able you have a good car you have a good house but the dog is very poor quality yeah right you cannot do anything just picking any dog yes. now before we get into that um mm-hmm. those qualities that people should be looking out for mm-hmm. in terms of regulations in the country i want to start my own 
a dog training, dog breeding company or security yes. company focused on that yes. particularly. What kind of regulations or hurdles or licenses do I have to cross before the government allows me to do that? Yes, first of all, before you get into any form of uh, dog breeding, mm. I would highly recommend, especially those who are within Nairobi City, there is the Nairobi Dog Act. Mm. You can find it online. It's available. Mm -hmm. uh, there are certain rules that you may not be uh, aware about, uh, mm -hmm. but they're there. For mm -hmm. example, any dog must not be found before 6 in the morning mm -hmm. or after 6 unattended mm -hmm. in a public environment. Right. Yes. That is something that you may not know. So you have to I be had very no idea. responsible. Mm -hmm. Yes. They, it's, it's an entire document. I'd recommend anyone who is interested so you have to read, to read, on to read on that. Mm -hmm. And there's also the issue of vaccination. Mm -hmm. Especially for adult dog, it is mandatory. It's required by law that you vaccinate against rabies. Mm -hmm. Remember, rabies is a very deadly virus. Right. And it's incurable. Mm -hmm. Yes. And after a progression to a certain level, it can lead to death. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yes. Now, before we get to qualities the aggression of the dog something that we can't miss to mention a lot of people are afraid and i can hear the, the your, your dog is already barking outside the <laughs> studio um yes. now the a lot of people are afraid of dogs are all dogs malicious uh, or do they have the potential to yeah, that 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 is a very good question mm -hmm. Um, I have seen clients who simply take a liking to a dog because it's overly aggressive. Mm -hmm. That is not the right dog. Right. A right dog should achieve a balance between those two. Mm. Uh, one of the tips is if you go to buy a dog from a breeder, if you are not able to touch the dog, mm. the father of the puppy, mm. in the presence of the breeder, you should do avoid not it. Buy, do not buy that dog. Yes. Right. Do not get it. Mm. Because uh, dogs that are uh, overly ag aggressive are always presenting the potential to harm you mm. and your children. All right. Yes. So you should avoid a such type. Now, let's mm. get to the things that people should look at. Before I get, I, I, again, I go and get myself a dog. Someone like myself who isn't really a pet person, yes. how now do I check out to, to know this isn't a mongrel, they just pick from the street and trying to sell me at 60,000 books? Exactly. Now, uh, let me just give you those tips right now. Mm. Tip number one. Always do your research, whether it's online, whether it's uh, through documentaries, YouTube, and all over. At least know how a purebred German Shepherd looks like. Mm. Just the looks. Yeah. At least know that. Secondly, always have someone uh, who has no agenda, no hidden agenda, mm -hmm. but has experience in dogs assist you in assessing the dogs that have been sold. Mm -hmm. So, accompany someone. Mm -hmm. uh, get accompanied by someone who has right. experience. Someone who has experienced. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Third, mm -hmm. always get to meet the parents of the dog you're trying to buy. Mm -hmm. Remember, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Mm -hmm. So, if the you parents like the parents... The dog parents. Yeah, exactly. Right. exactly. Thank right. You. So, if you like the dog's parents, mm. you definitely like the dog. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Uh, try to avoid these dogs that are being sold and you can't tell the parentage. Mm -hmm. uh, which tip are we at? Number five. Number four. We are going to five now. We are going to five. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Finally, always take a look at the puppy's vaccination card. Uh -huh. It must be fully vaccinated. That is a vaccination. Uh, there is DHLP. Mm hmm there's also the parvovirus vaccination. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, possibly the um, the anti-rabies vaccination. Mm -hmm. Yes. They right. should all be indicated. Now, what is the craziest combination? I don't know whether crazy is a word that fits here, but what is the, the weirdest, craziest, the most outstanding combination of genes that you've ever uh, done a crossbreed for? uh the 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 best the best would you would you like to know the best or the just the strangest that i've both, seen both 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 uh, the best that i would personally recommend with mm. all of my heart uh are two mm -hmm. we have the german shepherd uh mixed with the malino the belgian mm. malino mm -hmm. that is a very good dog especially for people who are in the commercial security industry mm -hmm. it's a very talented dog very nimble very muscular mm -hmm. uh for home security I would recommend the German Shepherd crossed with uh, the Rottweiler mm -hmm. or the Boabel. Right. Those are very good dogs, mm -hmm. provided that the parents have been viewed and they have been ascertained to be of good quality. Mm -hmm. Yes. However, I would recommend highly if you can afford a purebred dog, mm -hmm. the better. Go for that. Yes, the mm -hmm. better. The strangest? 
the strangest I have seen, although it was not mine, I just <laughs> saw it somewhere, mm-hmm. was uh, a German shepherd mixed with um, with uh, uh, a, a Japanese spit. Mm-hmm. It was a very strange looking dog. <laughs> <laughs> You've never tried some of these strange experiments? No, 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 no. I I'm do not guessing. do that. When right. you're in the commercial industry, mm. your clients depend, as, uh, rely on a certain uh, mm-hmm. level of professionalism. Right. I'm hearing, my director keeps telling me, we have the dog on standby. Yes. So let's, let's get let's to see how the dog is looking like. Perfect. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's give us, give us the dog. Uh, what, what exactly are we going to do so that we can uh, have the dog on? Yes, we are going to have a demonstration of how personal protection works. Mm. So Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Now I'll I'll, I'll just call them in. Mm -hmm. Uh, So they're going to come into the studio. Give me. Um, They are outside. Ah, all right. They can't come into the studio, Mr. Director. I would have loved to. Bring me the German Shepherd. Um, he's calling for the German Shepherd, though. So is it? Can we have what is outside already before we can get them? Bring me the German Shepherd. Right. So there it is. There is a dog outside our studios. Um, what dog is that? Right, so what dog is that that is trying to get into the studio? Um, you can only use your mic so that okay, we can get okay, your answer. Okay, that is a, it's a German Shepherd. Uh-huh. It's a currently three year old male, purebred uh-huh. long coat. Okay, yes. So that is a three year old German Shepherd. Yes, um, are we going to record the from? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm being informed it can't make it into the studio, but we can show it from right there. Can you get okay. commands f- from where he is? Um, he gets commands directly from the person who is handling him. Mm-hmm. That's how we work in uh, right. In uh, so we can so so we can we can get that. We we, we can, can go he hear you from now. Do it. Uh, yeah yeah definitely. Yes. Why not? Let's, let's, go, do, let's, that. Go let's do, do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right. Right. So that is the German Shepherd, three year old. All right, all right. So, relax, what are some of the commands relax, relax. that uh, we are going to give this dog? Okay, perfect. Uh, now, <laughs> right. you have the sleeve alloys. Okay. Now, uh, what we, what we are going to do? Uh, my friend here is going to act as a decoy, mm-hmm. and we are going to see how. The dog uh, alloys. Right. Right. So we're going, going to I'm going to give him the command uh-huh. and you will see. Okay. Watch. Let's get to see that. Good boy, watch. Very good boy, watch. Okay. watch. Right. Okay, so let's try and get the dog. We are now almost. We are right, right. Good boy. Good boy. Get it. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, good boy. All right, all As right, you can all see, right, he's right. trained to hold on to the to the to the sleeve. Attack! Wow. Get him. Attack! Mm. Right. So that, let's good, let's get good, to see, let's good, get to see good, the action. Good, let's get to good. see the action. Good. Right. Right. That is the what is going on with Omundi good. and his As German you can shepherd, three year old. On to the Three-year-old German oh, Shepherd geez. getting instructions right outside he's, he's, he's our studio on the show at Tuesday live. Now, drop, drop the, drop How the crazy is alert. that? How crazy let's is see. this show? Let's see. Lovely. Uh, he's not biting him. I've not given him the command to use Okay. Force. And you can see how he uses force when he's given the command. Right. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. We can let's get back, back to, to the studio, studio now. Um... Okay, 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 okay. What a demonstration! What a demonstration we had there. Yes. Um, quite, <laughs> quite a scene. Quite a scene. Quite a scene. Quite a scene. Right. That is a, three years old. You said. Yes. How long have you trained him? Old. He's he's a male. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been in training for two weeks now. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's still one of the upcoming dogs from our kennel. So, what what category of uh, of the dogs is he? Is he a security dog? Um, he, he has currently finished his uh, training on personal protection. Mm-hmm. He's now moving forward to home guarding. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Yes. Quite um, 
quite vibrant a dog that one is yes, <laughs> I, yes, I, yes. I felt the tremors <laughs> yes now what what most clients assume is that the dog naturally knows how to bite which is very wrong mm-hmm. the dog has to be trained mm-hmm. when it gets hold of mm-hmm. the sleeve mm-hmm. it holds on to it i'm saying it's getting polite they are getting patted on yes. its back and it feels yes. very relaxed right yes, it changes uh, immediately so are you the one who trains all of these dogs or you have some people who get to do that for you yes we have we have a, a very dedicated team mm-hmm. uh, the person you have seen uh, holding the piece of equipment and taking the bite mm-hmm. is called Alois Ongaki mm-hmm. he is an experienced uh, protection dog trainer mm-hmm. we also work hand in hand with him mm-hmm. yes he's very dedicated and passionate about his work mm-hmm. so he is among those people who are el- helping you of course uh, make sure that your dogs are well trained yes any accident that you've ever had personally with the dogs uh personally we have not had accidents because uh in such a line of work you need number one to put safety first mm-hmm. yes you do mm-hmm. not do anything that the dog is uncertain of mm-hmm. and number two you must always be in full focus no distractions mm-hmm. if your mind is elsewhere something can go wrong terribly mm-hmm. someone can lose a pair of fingers mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. right now you have no bite marks from the dogs no, none of your no, trainers no, have no, bite I marks <laughs> Uh, perhaps the bite marks that may exist is mm. uh, where the dog is so strong mm-hmm. that its teeth go beyond the the, the equipment and uh, actually get to and your get skin. to you now yes yes uh, those are the bite marks that okay exist. have people have any of your clients ever brought back their dogs and saying they cannot control the dogs anymore no mm. no 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 most of the dogs i sell are very high quality mm-hmm. they are very disciplined as you can see Uh, during the demonstration there's mm-hmm. a time I had told the, the Alois to put down the equipment mm-hmm. and I allowed the dog to approach him mm-hmm. and it did not use force uh-huh. because it had not been commanded to use mm-hmm. force so now when you've yes. trained a dog and you're handing it out to your client do you give them the instruction manual or how does it work normally uh, the client is present during the training mm-hmm. a few sessions we include the client mm-hmm. such that he, he actually gets to understand how to work with a trained dog because a trained dog can be weaponized. Mm. Yes, it mm. can. There are dogs that if you train poorly they can kill people. Mm. So it actually needs time. It needs proper education of the client as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. So if I have my own dog and mm. don't want to buy one that's already trained and I want mine trained, is that possible? Yes, it's very much possible. We offer services on personal protection like what you've seen. Mm. We offer services on guard dogs uh sniffer dogs we also train mm-hmm. yes and uh, we have quotations for each particular category we have advanced mm-hmm. and basic right so their prices are different mm-hmm. we also have studying services as i had said earlier mm-hmm. if you have a female and you'd like puppies with such like genetics mm-hmm. such like abilities right. you can bring your female at a mm-hmm. fee we, we we give her Mm-hmm. Uh, the studying service right now yes. where can people get you for these services even as we try and wind up on uh, this uh, we ha- we have a youtube channel mm. it's called alpha 6 kenya a l p h a 6 s i x kenya mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that channel will enable you get information for free that you would have ad- otherwise been charged mm-hmm. uh, information about the best dog food maybe you have a dog that is chronic underweight mm-hmm. you can get free information on the same how to deworm in a less expensive way mm-hmm. basic treatment and all that home mm-hmm. remedies mm-hmm. it 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 just helps you to have a better relation with your dog mm-hmm. and also reduces your expenses right yes thank you very much for coming through to the show physical location have you said that our physical location is uh, along thicker road mm. at clay works mm-hmm. yes we are located there and uh, my number is zero seven zero three is your camera five zero nine nine four eight you can reach me through that number if you you need training services you need a dog or you need studying mm-hmm. services right so thank you very much for coming through that was uh gillian Very, yes. quite an interesting name there <laughs> <laughs> that Thank was Gillian Omundi yes. uh, with me here on the show of course trying to tell us exactly what the dog business is, is looking like if you want uh, some of his services you can get him as he said his number as yes. well as um, at Clayworks that's where he's at Alpha 
Kenya. Alpha 6 Kenya. At YouTube. At YouTube. Alpha yeah. 6 Kenya. Make sure that you check them out. See some of those dogs. Get your information exactly. If you want personal protection every, or if you want a dog for therapy, there's so many uh, needs you can have. If you have a dog that you feel like can interbreed with the German Shepherd that we just saw outside the studio, of course, reach, reach out to him or reach out to us and we will get to him. Thank you very much for watching that part. You can roll back the interview if you just tuned in and you missed any part of it. Will also be, it will also be uploaded to our YouTube channels at KUTV Kenya. Now, speaking of dogs, last week I met one of my dogs from South Africa. That is Nasty C. And, uh, you know, yeah, he's, he's, my, he's my dog now. And um, we had a conversation. We sat down at uh, 